Hi, my name is Alex Pluto and this is Package Main. Authentication usually is a very important part in any application. You can always create your own authentication system, but it will require you a lot of work. Registration form, forgot password form, etc. That's why OAuth2 was created to allow users to log into your system with one of the many accounts user already has. In this video, you will create a simple web page with Google login using OAuth2 Go package. First of all, let's review how OAuth2 works step by step. The user opens website and clicks Google login button. The user gets redirected to Google login handler page, on which we will generate the random state string and we'll provide Google this state to generate the redirection link. And then we will direct user to this link. The user logs in on Google servers and Google redirects user back to our callback page by providing us code and the random state. So what we need to do is to check this state and then using the code generate access token. Then we can use this access token to get information about user or use Google API. Also, we can use code to regenerate the access token in future if necessary. Now, before we are going to write our application, let's go to Google and generate our OAuth2 keys. Let's go to Google Cloud Platform on console.developers.google.com and create our project, or you can use existing one. Then we should go to Credentials tab and create new credentials and select OAuth Client ID. We can select web application, give it a name. And also what we need to do is to add authorized redirect URL. In our case, it will be localhost 8080 slash callback. Is the URL where Google will redirect us after successful login. Click create. Now we have our client ID and client secret, which we can use later in Go file. Save it in a safe place. I will use environment variables to get access to these keys. We will do everything in a single main.go file. We will register three URL handlers for home page, for redirect, and for callback. So I'm going to create the main.go file. And first of all, let's go get the OAuth2 Go package. In function main, I will run our server on 8080 port using HTTP package 80 new. Also, I will create the Google OAuth config. So we will use path to package dot config. And here we need to fill some properties. First one will be redirect URL. It's the same we added to Google Cloud Platform. In our case it's localhost 8080 slash callback. Then we need to provide client ID and client secret. I save them in uh, environment variables. So for client ID, it can be Google client ID and client secret. It will be Google client secret. One more property we need to field is scopes. It says which permissions we want to ask user. Scopes is a slice of strings, and in our case, we will ask user only for email. And also, we need to set endpoint. In our case, it will be google.endpoint, and Google is a sub package of OAuth2. So you can just do it like this. All right, now in our function main, we can register handlers for three different endpoints. So to the handle func for the home page we will call handle 
home and then one more for login page and the last one for callback let's start with the home page in this function we will simply render the basic HTML so fun handle home first we need response writer and then request request our HTML is very simple it contains only one link login and you can say Google log in and close everything and let's just print it to response writer so we can use fmt f print writer HTML the next function we will implement is handle login Here we will redirect user to a specific Google service URL. To get this URL, we can use Google Auth config and call the function Auth code URL, in which we should provide the state and options if you want. The state should be a random string which identifies the user request. In our case, we can just define some pseudo random string random state is random to do randomized so it is the URL now what you need to do is simply redirect user to this URL to URL and HTTP status temporary direct the last function we need to implement is callback here we will receive a state and code from Google and then we will get access token and try to call some Google API to get the user email We will do some checks here. First of all, let's check the form value state and simply just compare it with the random state. And if it's not the same, let's just print an error. State is not valid. And redirect user to to the home page mm. status and return our Google Auth config has a function exchange where we can provide context and code and retrieve the token in our case we don't have any context so we can use OAuth to no context and cont will be in form value code. We will have token or error. Let's check if error is not empty. We will do very simple code. Just print something could not get and print error message if everything is fine we can do an HTTP GET request to Google API with our token here let's initialize the GET request to one of the Google API endpoints by providing access token 
will be token dot access token. Here we have response or error. And let's check it as well. If it's not new, let's say couldn't create get request. Now all we need to do is to parse the response and print it back to user. So don't forget to defer close body and we can use IO util package and read all from response body. You will also have content and error here. If error is not nil, let's do something similar. Couldn't parse response. And if we have content, we just print it back to user. F print F response content. Now let's run our code and see if it works. Just simply go run main .go file. There are no errors. And now we need to go to localhost 8080. 80 and let's see how it works. We click on Google login, we select our account and nothing happens. So let's see if there is an error. State is not valid. All right, that's because I made a typo here. Let's rerun it. Go to this page, go to Google, select account and here we are. We have our email and information. In this demo, we asked user only to give us access to email, but we could ask to give us access to Google Calendar, etc. etc. That's all what we need to do to integrate OAuth 2 with Google in Go. As you can see, it's less than 70 lines of code. Also, there is a nice Go package Goth from Mark Bates, which gives you multi-provider authentications. I hope it was interesting and helpful. See you later.